All right, so in this short video, I'm gonna show you how to take a drawing and turn it into a vector, to a vector. All right, so I'm gonna come file, place. I'm going to go find the image that I want to work with. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna start, open up a new file, file, new, okay. Um, I can resize it. I'm gonna come file, place, and I'm going to find the image that I want to place, and here it is, it's a JPEG. I hit place. Yes, so I hit place, and here it is. All right, so now what I can do too is I can resize my artboard. So I'm gonna click onto here, grab this, resize my artboard so it works with the image that I am working with. Now the next thing that I'm going to do this drawing that I have placed in is a black and white sketch and it very much is, um, as you can see, a very simple drawing with closed shapes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click onto here, click it, and I'm going to do image trace. Now, I wanna do black and white logo, okay? And the reason why I wanna do a black and white logo is because it just has the two colors and it's gonna be real easy to just drop color in. So I come to expand, click off, grab my white arrow, select the background, delete the white background. Now I can start coming in and dropping in color. Now I could come, I could double click, choose a color, drop the color in. Okay, right now, sometimes what happens when we do the black and white, it's registering, let's see, is it registering? Okay, good. I thought it was registering as a grayscale. And if that happens, you have to come to recolor artwork and change it up that way. Okay, so what I can do now is I could come around and just use my white arrow, right? And start changing the color, like so. I can shift click to select all of these little white pieces, grab my eyedropper, and voila, start to add in color. Now the way that I actually really do like to work with this is I like to use Life Paint. Now you can see too, when you select one object, they're all grouped together. So we can ungroup all of these, come to Object Ungroup, and then we can move them as separate shapes. So I can also come in and take a closer look and see you know, what's going on with this drawing. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you how to work with live paint. So let's come to another shape and let's come to this one. So I wanna select it and turn it into a live paint group. In order to select this, I like the lasso tool. So I'm gonna grab the lasso tool and I'm going to select around this shape all selected. Now I'll come to object and I will come to live paint and I'll say make. And now what's really wonderful is I can grab my paint bucket and um, I can, you know, kind of come in here and figure out what colors I want to work with. I'm going to stick with this green and I can just come on in and dump color in. Now I can change this up, come on around and drop color in. Now sometimes, um, and you can see that's really kind of cool, it got the, um, the, the black, and if you wanna get the black line around it, you can do that too. That also is a paint group. So looking at changing those colors too, I find a lot of times if I'm having a hard time getting an area, if I zoom in, then it's easier to get that area. So there we go, I'm gonna come through. We'll take a look, see what this looks like. And again, coming on in, working with these different varieties and variations of things. Now, let's say that I decided, hey, you know what? I don't want the black per se, I want this color here. So what I could do is hover around and get, oopsie, get these edges and work through. And you can see, you know, you could spend lots of time working on this stuff and definitely have lots of fun. Now, this is what's interesting about live paint as well. And the image trace is when we come in a little bit closer, we can see that this is not a stroke, but instead it's actually a shape, this outside edge. So I could even you know, change my paint bucket, come in, drop a color, 
drop a color, whoopsie, uh, drop a color. All right, I'm gonna come on down a little bit further and you know, drop a color, oopsie, didn't want to do that. I had the whole thing selected. And all right, so there we have it. Very quick and easy way to come in and start changing things up and create some very interesting, interesting shapes. Thanks for listening. And this, this also has a blog post associated with it. So if you'd like to read the blog, um, look below this YouTube video for information on this project. Thanks for listening.